Hey, Tourpreneurs, it's Mitch Bach. And just a quick note before we begin today's episode, Tourpreneur is currently sponsored by Google. We're thankful for their support of our community, and we are offering with them a completely free course helping you unlock the power and potential of Google's Things to Do program, which is specifically helping tour operators add their tours to Google in new ways that gives you new exposure and more direct bookings. To learn more, go to tourpreneur.com slash Google. And as always, show notes, more resources, links to our newsletter, our business coaching community, and so much more are available on tourpreneur.com. Now to the episode. Today's episode of the Tourpreneur podcast is kindly sponsored by Checkfront, the booking platform trusted by over 5,000 tour and activity operators around the world. This month, Checkfront is offering an exclusive 90-day free trial for tourpreneurs. Find out more at checkfront.com forward slash tourpreneur. Welcome to the Tourpreneur Podcast. Travel industry veteran Shane Whaley will take you on a journey with fellow tourpreneurs, sharing their tips, ideas, insights, and success stories to inspire you to make your tour business the best it can be. And now, here is your host, Shane Whaley. And thank you for joining us here at Tourpreneur. We are on day 23 of our 30-day Tour Operator Challenge. We welcome back onto today's show, Kyla Steves. How are you, Kyla? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Always a pleasure. And it's particularly a pleasure today because this is really in your wheelhouse because what's today's challenge? Okay, so uh, today you're going to brainstorm evergreen content. So exactly what you said. I'm really excited about this challenge because this is my area of expertise and I strongly believe in the benefits of blogging for businesses. So today, I want you to come up with a few blog post ideas that will stand the test of time. This is otherwise known as evergreen content. Normally, when we think about blogging, we like to write about company news or stories from a tour. And that's that's great content. Don't get me wrong. People love reading that, especially previous guests or family and friends. But these types of posts tend to spike and flatline with traffic. So if you want to continually drive organic traffic to your website, it's best to focus on high quality evergreen content. This is the content that is relevant to your audience, no matter what year it is. Absolutely. What are some tips for coming up with evergreen content ideas? Um, A great tip is to start by looking at your frequently asked questions, which you did on day 12. You can actually expand on those So you can look at your questions, figure out which ones you can make into a more detailed blog post. And here's the real ninja tip. You can actually link to that blog post from your answer in your frequently asked question, and that'll really boost your internal link juice. Yeah, I love on the PDF accompanying the 30-day challenge, which everyone can grab at tourpreneur.com forward slash challenge. Even if this is the first day you're hearing about this, right? It's, you know, day 23, you can still get the PDF and work through each day at your own speed. Um, You give 10 evergreen content ideas, some articles, things like 10 cringeworthy things not to do on a tour. I'm sure I've done at least eight of those. seven non-touristy things to do in London. And again, they may not be directly related to your tours, but it's giving that information so that when people are searching for this stuff that they're able to find, you know, your website, right? Yeah. And it's a good thing to keep in mind. You can be very specific with your location and neighborhood. Like those are very broad ideas. So when you narrow it down specifically to your location, uh, you're more likely to rank for those keywords or show up for those searches. Even like last night, my parents are coming to town in a couple of weeks and I wanted to do something special with them. So I whale watching is a big thing here on Vancouver Island. So I was like, is it still good to go whale watching in the winter? And the first uh, result that came up was why you should go whale watching in November. And it was actually a guest post written by a tour operator on another website. But like if they had put that on their blog themselves, I would have been right there on their website, like ready to book. So it's just a really good idea to keep this as part of your marketing strategy. Yeah. And it's like they say that to be a good writer, you have to be an excellent reader. And what I would advise our listeners to do is 
when you're surfing, and it may not even be anything to do with tours, but when you're looking for information for yourself, it could be to do with gardening or whatever, you know, look at the blog post you're landing on and think, well, actually, what's this title? And is there anything I can do to riff off this with my own tours, activities, or destination? I think that that is crucial, that we need to be consumers of other blog posts as well in order to be good creators of blog posts. Yeah. And even when you look at the structure of other blog posts, it gives you an idea of how to structure your own. Like those blog posts rank for a reason because they follow on page SEO guidelines. So really pay attention to how they structure their blog. Fantastic. There's some excellent tips there. Another another topic with you, Kyla, that, you know, a couple of minutes doesn't really do it justice, but it's enough to get us started in thinking about this, right? Yeah, for sure. Wonderful. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for listening to the Torpreneur podcast. Be sure to visit torpreneur.com to join the conversation and access the show notes, including links to the resources mentioned on today's episode. This is Torpreneur.